Uh, correct. Uh, first of all, thanks for mm -hmm. hosting us here this morning. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, well, um, since our uh, customers are mostly first-time borrowers, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, have a very extremely easy process and mm -hmm. very, very convenient customer journey for them. Um, you can inquire a loan through a simple text message mm -hmm. and then uh, you'll get a reply from our system immediately. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you can, you can apply in any of the close to 30,000 points of sale that we currently have in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. to our partners, of course. Uh -huh. So for now, you're available mostly in the big cities here, Manila, Mandawe, Cebu. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, we are currently available in NCR, South mm -hmm. Luzon, uh, 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 specifically the Calabar Zone region, mm -hmm. and uh, Central Visayas. But our plan is to expand the operations nationwide until the end of the year, since okay. uh, we have been very successful and, and uh, the pickup rate and the take-up rate uh, is very, very good. Actually, I was going to ask you that. Uh, okay. Can you share with us how much loans you've disbursed so far since you started here in the Philippines? I believe one and a half years. Uh, that's correct. Mm -hmm. We have operations for mm -hmm. more than 12 months already in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We have disbursed so far uh, more than 150 million uh, pesos. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, with an average uh, loan size of approximately 5,000 pesos mm -hmm. each. Uh, of course, it's a micro loan. Mm -hmm. um, so you can uh, imagine, imagine how many. Yeah, so you basically, you're, uh, according to my research, you yeah. give out loans of between 2,000 pesos and 10,000 pesos That's with a repayment period of a month to four months. Uh, yeah. Actually, we give uh, uh, loans up to nine months okay. uh, with a convenient weekly installment. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. most of the customers are first-time borrowers. Um, and we, we aim to, to make it as convenient as possible for mm -hmm. them uh, and inform them uh, how, how much they have to pay, uh, what's the uh, uh, time that they have to make their uh, installment. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. That's how it what works. about the default rate? Um, I, I read somewhere that uh, there's a saying that goes, it's actually easier to serve this underserved market because they actually are better payers. Do you see this happening with Para Agad? Um, well, uh, yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that um, our default rates are uh, below average mm -hmm. uh, for, for the market uh, because of our uh, unique data scoring and analytics models. Um, and for established borrowers, they're in the single digits. That's all, right. all I can say about that. Okay, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. Now, Alex, these loans are unsecured and you use, of course, telco data analytics as a basis for credit scores, as well as to determine the loan amount. Can you elaborate? Because um, mm. I know that uh, this telco data analytics as a basis for credit scoring is unique to your platform. That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for mm -hmm. asking this question. In fact, this is one of uh, our unique characteristics mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, in our business model. Uh, we score the subscriber and his, uh, and in particular his willingness and, and credit worthiness mm -hmm. based on the mobile data that mm -hmm. we receive from our partners, as you mentioned, Smart and TNT. Um, and we believe that we are uh, one of the first companies in the world to do that. Mm -hmm. um, we already have a lot of experience uh, in this data analytics uh, on three different continents. Um, and it works very well in the Philippines as well. Uh -huh, but you're targeting actually prepaid subscribers of Smart and Talk and Text. So how would you check this? Uh, these uh, how which data do you parse through the amount that they spend on pre prepaid load per month? Um, well, there's mm -hmm. uh, a significant amount of data mm -hmm. points, and it's not mm -hmm. so easy to explain. Uh -huh. But just to uh, give you an idea, mm -hmm. we get. Uh, uh, data from SMART, which is uh, completely anonymized, of course, mm -hmm. we have to be legally compliant as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we score all this data, gets fed into our algorithms, mm -hmm. and we have developed a fully optimized model, uh, which will then give you a scoring decision, basically. All right, well, this is another interesting thing that I saw in your websites, frequently asked questions. This is a, a, about credit records can actually be used moving forward for credit services with lower rates, for example, with banks and other financial institutions. 
Is that really applicable here in the Philippines? I mean, are you working with the CIC on this, the Credit Information Center? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we are obliged, just add, uh, any other financial, just like any other financial institution, to provide data to the CIC. Um, so yes, we work with them as well. Um, uh, with regards to the lower rates, we grant lower rates to the established borrowers. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's so the correct. So more they borrow the and they pay on time and all of that, yes. you, you can give them lower interest We also rates. have loyalty programs for them. Mm -hmm. um, we engage in uh, uh, social causes. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, we, we, we contribute to the financial inclusion uh, uh, in the Philippines here since this is one of the uh, main uh, government uh, and, and BSP programs uh, for, for the next, for the years to come. All right. Well, speaking of that social aspect you were mentioning, uh, so if you're a good payer, for example, I borrowed money and I pay you on time, part of these loans that are paid on time will in fact go back to the local yes. community to be used for social causes that are chosen by borrowers. How does that work? Uh, that's correct. Well, uh, currently we are developing the functionality mm -hmm. on our website or mm -hmm. for the ones who cannot access the website. Uh, uh, we'll. Uh, allow them to choose on the point of sale which one of the causes which they propose um, will be uh, granted uh, 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 donation. Donation. All right. Well, uh, looking forward to breaking uh, beyond 150 million pesos worth of micro loans. Thank you very much, Absolutely. Alex Charkov, for joining us on Starting Gate today.